some fine Rhode Island coffee. That was going to be the one. <gasps> now 20. Yes. First try. In the game of baseball, if a ball floats into the stands on a foul or a home run and a fan catches it, typically they get to keep the ball. That means that the number of balls that start the baseball game is different than the number of balls that end the baseball game. On the other hand, in the game of soccer, if a ball goes into the stands, the spectators have to throw it back. The result is that the number of soccer balls that start the game is the same as the number of soccer balls that end the game. Or, in other words, the number of soccer balls is conserved. Another way to describe the principle of conservation is to look at the International Space Station. As of the time of recording this video, according to NASA.gov, there have been 227 different visitors to the International Space Station, and after a time, each of these people has left the International Space Station. The longest anyone has spent there is about 340 days. By my count, that says that everyone who goes to the International Space Station also leaves. People in equals people out. I would call this a conservative system because the number of people in equals the number of people out, and when we decommission the International Space Station, there won't, won't be any people in there. Number of people in is number of people out. This principle is really similar to the second of Kirchhoff's laws that I want to talk about, and that law is what we call Kirchhoff's Current Law, or KCL. KCL is the result of the conservation of charge, which says that charge can neither be created nor destroyed. What this law says, in short, is that the amount of current entering a node is equal to the amount of current leaving a node, or the sum of currents at a node is equal to zero. As an example, consider this circuit with one node and three branches. We are going to find I3 and V3. The first consideration we will make is that current into a node will be positive and out of a node will be negative in the KCL expression. The KCL expression is I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals to zero. I1 is one amp. I2 goes out of the node, so it's negative 0.5 amps. And I3 goes out of the node, so we represent it as a negative variable. Solving for I3, we get I3 equals 0.5 amps. We also need to find V3, which we get using Ohm's law, which is V equals IR, which is 0.5 times 3, or 1.5 volts. As you can see, KCL and KVL, which we talked about in the previous video, are really fundamental laws of circuits, and they're really important to help us analyze circuits. Remember, when it comes to KCL, current in equals the current out when we look at a node. This is like the International Space Station, where everyone in equals everyone out. Or, if you prefer, like soccer, the number of balls at the beginning of the game is equal to the number of balls at full time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you feel I've earned it, I would love it if you would subscribe. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram at BDMcFerrin. This is Dr. McFerrin. Thanks for stopping in.